Hello, I'm Fast Logger, with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to do a review and let's play for Spider Fear VR, a free-to-play game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive and the Valve Index. I'm currently on Windows Mixed Reality, and I can confirm it works fine on Windows Mixed Reality. Well, fine, except for one issue. I'm not sure it's specific to the Windows Mixed Reality. And the issue is that teleportation doesn't always work. Um... It's got a big fail rate, like, you see right now it's working, but then it'll stop working. As you can see, I'm... Stop, it stopped working all of a sudden. Now it worked again, I'm not sure why. Now the physics doesn't matter with the sword at all. You only have one type of enemy. And basically it's a wave shooter or, or melee wave non-shooter. So, I mean, with the sword, as long as you touch it once, you'll make damage. But to make damage again, you have to kind of stop touching it and touch it again. So it doesn't matter how fast or how hard you swing it. As long as you keep touching it. Let's see. Doesn't matter at all so there's really no physics here you only have that one type of enemy and like i said the teleportation here doesn't want to work maybe it works a quarter of the time i don't know i don't know why all of a sudden it just stops working and then it works again all of a sudden i have no idea why this is on windows mixed reality uh i'm pretty sure this is an issue though just on for the game in general i'm pretty sure it's not just windows mixed reality but I'm going to give the developer the benefit of the doubt just because I'm not sure it's Windows Mixed Reality is not officially supported. Of course, I would I had a question why would it work at all with Windows Mixed Reality once and not work again. It has to be like a bug that's just there in the game. So that's pretty much it for the game. You kill all the spiders, you go on to the next wave. You pretty much go to the same looking place. There are some differences. As you can see, it's darker here. There's a few differences, but... It pretty much looks the same. There's only that one type of enemy. The combat never changes. You just basically repeat this over and over again. So I don't recommend this game. This is not a good game. It kind of feels like they just got stuff from the asset store. Probably free stuff from the asset store and just used it in their game. Maybe spent an hour or two making this game. Maybe like one Friday night they just made this game. I don't know. But it's not a very well-made game. I think it's pretty poor. I don't think a lot of effort went into this. I don't think these developers probably have any experience making a game. If they do, then they should quit. Because um, this is pretty bad. Um, I mean, at least it didn't. Cr it at least it didn't crash, so that's good, I guess. And it kind of works, so that's good. But if I have to rate this game, I'm going to give this a 2.5 out of 10. It's just not fun. It's it's a waste of a download, honestly. And I wish devs wouldn't upload these type of games to Steam. Even as a free-to-play, you're not doing yourself any favor. You're not getting any good reputation by putting these like asset flips on the Steam store. Even if it's free. I mean, I could make a game like this if I wanted to. You know, I have Unity on my computer. I don't have any programming experience, but I have several assets from the asset store that I've gotten like in bundles or I've gotten free. So definitely I could spend some time over the weekend and make something like this, maybe even better, but it'd still be trash. And that's why I don't do it. Uh, and like I said, you're just giving yourself a bad name. So anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Max Reality. Do not download this game. I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 10. It's not very good. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.